For today's tutorial I'm going to use the Red Heart Boutique Treasure and this is a different yarn to what I normally use um, but I thought it would be really good for this project because it does have some gorgeous pinks and orange and greens so as we do the project it actually changes colour itself and I definitely think for a corner to corner blanket um, this is the best kind of yarn to use, a, a, you know, a changing colour yarn. Now this says to use a 6.5mm but if you do watch my tutorials regularly you know I like to break the rules slightly and I'm just going to use a 6mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for when you come to the end of your project. If you use this red heart yarn you can actually go to the centre of the um, ball and then take out the end and uh, just un unravel it straight from the centre, it just makes it a little bit easier to work so this is actually a really easy pattern to um, to do. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do without even thinking about it. So first of all, make your slip knot however you find easiest to make it. Insert your hook and we're going to start off by chaining six. So that's yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's three. As you're going up the chain it helps to sort of move your fingers up as you go along. So we'll do four, five and six. Now we're actually going to work our way straight back along this chain and you're going to work into the fourth chain from the hook. You're not going to count the chain that's actually on the hook so you want to count one, two, three and four. So it's this, hook, uh, this chain that we're going to work in. And we're going to do a treble crochet. Now remember I'm working in UK terms. So in the UK this is treble crochet. In the US this is double crochet. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that fourth chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull through. So you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops and then yarn over, pull through two loops. You're then going to do another treble into the next space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, so you have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Then you should have one space left, and you're going to do another treble in there. So yarn over, insert into that last space, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that is our very first section. You then want to turn your work, and you're going to chain six again. Now this is what we're going to do, because this is our second row. We're going to do this for every row. So you want to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to do exactly the same thing as before. So count back four loops from your hook. So one, two, three, and four. And you're going to do a treble in that space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then again in the next space. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then one more in the next space. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now what we're going to do now is actually start to connect this square to this square. So this is going to be our corner, and then we're going to work up diagonally this way. So you want to insert your hook into this space just here. So we have our three trebles, and then we have our, well it's like a chain three space here. So you want to insert your hook into there and yarn over and pull through 
a slip knot so that joins it together. You then want to chain three, so one, two, and three, and then do three trebles in this space here. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and twice more. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one more, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that makes our second round. So we have one round here, and these two squares act as our second round. Now the next round is gonna have even more squares. So what we do is, as before, we turn the work and we chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. You want to count back from your hook four spaces and do a treble into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. So you want to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, so you have three loops, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So we're going to do another two trebles now to make our three. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then again into the next space. Now we want to connect this square to this one. So we insert our hook into that chain three space. So we count our three trebles and then our chain three. So it's one, two, three trebles and a chain three. You want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and do a slip knot just to bring it together. We then want to chain three. So one, two, three and we're going to do three trebles in this same space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, we want to connect this square to the other square from the previous row. So we insert our hook into that chain three space. So it's treble, 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 and then insert it into that space. Yarn over and slip stitch through to connect it. So you can see now this is our third row. So you want to chain three, one, two, and three, and you want to do three trebles into this space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Another treble. And another treble. So that is our third row, one, two, three. So each row will get one square bigger in size. So just one, one, two, one, two, three. You want to turn your work and then do six chains. Four, five, six. Work into your fourth chain from the hook, a treble crochet, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then this into the next space, treble, 
now that piece there is where I had to just um, attach the yarn again together because it snapped and um, so don't worry if that happens you can just work it into the work and try and hide it a little bit uh, but just work as normal and another treble into the next space and then we know that we want to attach to the last round so insert your hook yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook to make a slip stitch chain three and then do three trebles into this space here so that's one treble two trebles and then three trebles we're going to slip stitch again into the next space chain three one two and three and do three trebles so you can see that this is just a pattern that's repeating itself but each row is going to have more squares than the last one so that's my three trebles insert my hook into the space and do a slip stitch and chain three and then do three trebles and my yarn is now starting to change colour so we'll get a nice colour change going on in just a moment so that is the fourth row and you would turn your work and chain six one two three four five six so what you want to do is pause the video or turn off the video depending on how big your blanket is going to be work your way to the width that you want your blanket to be now remember this is going to be on the diagonal say so this is the corner of your blanket it will slowly grow um, outwards so you want to get the diagonal the width that you want it to be if that makes sense so the width will be however long it is down this way or however high it is that way so get to whatever width or size you want your blanket to be I'm just going to do a sample piece so that I can show you in quickly and easily and I shall show you how to decrease the other side so pause the video or come back to me at a later time and I'll show you how to decrease okay so I'm now five rows up and this is what it's starting to look like and you can see why I wanted to show you the color change in yarn because it just makes a really nice effect as you're going up and it just saves you having to faff around with changing colors so now what we want to do is we've got like a triangle shape here we now want to start making this top edge straight and this edge straight so that we can make it into a square so what you want to do is turn your work and instead of chaining six we want to actually just start uh, working in the next square because we want to make this top edge flat and the way that you do this is you want to look at the spaces between those trebles you're going to insert your yarn into that first space and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook so just do a slip stitch insert your hook into the next space yarn over and pull through to make another slip stitch and then insert your hook into the last space yarn over and pull through to make another slip stitch and that just makes that edge flat we would then work this space as we would normally so it would be chain three one two and three and just do your three trebles in that space as normal So that's one two and three insert your hook into the square from the previous row and just slip stitch and work your way along that row as normal if you want to pause the video and work, work your way up to your second to last square from the previous row so this one here and I'll show you how to make this edge straight 
So we're at our second to last square and you're just going to do this square as normal. So you're going to chain three and then do three trebles as normal. And you are going to slip stitch into the next one, but instead of um, chaining three and doing another square, you're going to turn this round and then you're going to slip stitch into the next three spaces. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull through both, into the next space, yarn over, pull through both, and into the next space, yarn over, pull through both, and then you would just carry on as normal. So chain three, one, two, three, three trebles. So one, two, three, slip stitch into the next square chain three and so on. So you'll notice now that we're starting to square off here and we're starting to square off here. So you would work your way along until this last square just there. So if you want to pause the video I'll work my way up to here and then I'll show you just one more time how to decrease. Okay so I've just done my last square I'm going to insert my hook and slip stitch into this last square here and then I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch into the next three spaces. So that's one, two and three and I'm going to carry it on as normal. So chain three and then continue to work down. So now I'm at the end of my square and as you can see I only have one square left to do. So I'm going to chain three, I'm going to do my three trebles, two and then three and then all I'm going to do is insert my hook, yarn over and pull through like a slip stitch and yarn over and pull through, grab my scissors and snip off the yarn, pull the yarn out and pull nice and tight and then all you want to do is grab your darning needle, thread up your needle and then weave in that thread. Weave it in a nice good couple of inches. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Once it's pulled through, pull it tight and then snip off the extra bit of yarn. And there you have your pattern. So it's a really easy pattern to do. Um, it does start to build quite fast. Obviously, the uh, wider you get with the pattern, the longer it will tend to take. But once you start decreasing again, it will get faster and faster. So it's one of those patterns where once you get the hang of it, you can then just do it without really thinking. And like I say, it builds really quickly and it's such a good effect, especially with this colour changing yarn. I just wanted to show you quickly what this um, corner to corner blanket can look like if you use the Starcraft Special DK. This is one I try, tried when I was just trying out the pattern. Um, and again, because this is slightly a lighter weight yarn, um, the Starcraft looks looks really, really good in this as well. I wasn't too happy with the colour choice that I chose, but I just wanted to show you the, the difference in the Starcraft compared to the Red Heart yarn. So you can use any yarn you would like, as long as it's not too thin with this pattern. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!